Welcome back. The real experts on how to live a subsistence lifestyle are long gone, of course, but we can get a glimpse of that world from footage shot by Marvin Muktuk Marston as he traveled the state during World War II to recruit Alaska natives for the Territorial Guard. He used films like this one to show how Alaska natives are well adapted to the Arctic and best suited to protect it from enemy attack. The hooks with line are employed and makes fast to catch. All available hands eagerly join in the task of beaching the whale. Once the beluga is clear of the water, the butchering begins. The meat is quickly cut into convenient sized chunks and the feasting starts. The whale is an important and greatly prized food to the Eskimos. All parts of the whale are used and nothing is wasted. So we don't know where this footage was shot. But we do know how Marston got his nickname, Muktuk. So it was in a whale blubber eating contest in which he bested the locals. Wow. Again, we want to thank all of you who contributed your snapshots for today's program. We got hundreds of wonderful slices of life from across the state. You sent us more photos than we could use in this show. But keep watching for more of them to air in the future. They're just too good to keep to ourselves. And as always, we welcome your comments. You can send them to frontiers at ktva.com. And I wanna say thank you so much for the people of Igiagic. You welcomed us into your homes and your lives. You shared your subsistence food. You shared your stories. Congratulations on finishing that six week native food challenge. You've inspired us and I'm sure many people across the state. Well, that is it for Frontiers this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.